Five o'clock in the morning, January 28th. We got our first calf. There she is. I don't know if it's a she actually. Mom's pretty excited. We're gonna put him in the barn because with the wind chill, it's like minus 47 here this morning. So this is what we do with calves that are born on cold, super cold nights. Hopefully, uh, Glenn saw it come out, so we got it in within 20 minutes. It's a going concern. We'll just let it uh, dry off a little here in the shed and then we'll put mom and baby together. We got her in the barnyard. It's a little bull calf, cutie pie. Oh, making the slow journey out. February 28th in the morning. Glenn was checking every hour and a half last night. And uh, thankfully he was there when that calf was born. So we gotta go now and uh, put that calf together with its mama in the barn. Beats the heck out of uh, doing that at branding time. <laughs> this one's a gymnast. What do we call you? White 401. All right. Oh, you guys look like each other. Day checks are a pretty sweet gig because, well, especially when it's nice like this. I could walk because our house is just right behind the windbreak here, but the field is so icy that I'd just be playing tiptoe the whole time I was out here. These girls are pretty relieved today because the uh, weather is much nicer today for a couple days anyway. We had minus 20 wind chills, wind blowing, super cold, could hardly stand it being outside. And so they were in the corral for those days. So when I'm out here, I'm looking for signs of calving, like water bag would be super nice. If we've missed the water bag, then we're looking for Crook tails, cows that are sniffing the ground, turn around, sniff the ground, lay down, stand up, something groaning or mooing or... Right now I don't see any of that happening. That one in the middle of the night was an old cow that calved, she was 11, and so quite often they'll just have a calf. <laughs> I feel you, girl. I know how hard it can be to get up sometimes, especially from the floor. It's uh, February 29th today, and I uh, just want you to take a look at the barn. It's about 3.30 p.m. Um, it's 8.7 degrees Celsius here right now. And within the next hour, we're supposed to drop to minus 9. And the wind is blowing at about 50 to 70 kilometers an hour right now. So that's going to be good times. We'll see how, we, how full we get in here over the next couple of days.
we got a customer coming in the barn. Um, she came in last night actually and didn't calve. When we brought everybody in last night, she didn't want to come in and uh, so she also didn't want to come in tonight, but she's presenting with that crook tail. We haven't seen a water bag. Uh, that doesn't mean anything though. So she is presenting the signs of calving now. So back in the barn she goes. I don't want to annoy her too much. She's 834. So yeah. I'll give her about four hours or so. Not having seen a water bag. It's hard to say, but keep an eye on her every couple of hours anyway. So it's still February 29th. Storm came through. Now it's just really cold. Um, more snow to come. First passenger in the barn has calved. And Glenn says we have another one to bring in. Cow. So hopefully that goes well. I'm going to let everybody out except the big stock. Uh, it's 3.45 a.m. March 1st. Got a new baby to bring in. Ah, we just had our first effort cab successfully. Nice job. Holy snowballs, Batman. Okay, who do we have in the barn? This was our second one we brought in last night. And this is our new mama in the middle. Little heifer, doesn't know what she's doing, so we're gonna give her some space. She seems to be a good mom so far. Yeah, we'll give her some time here. She needs to figure that out. And uh, the first baby we brought in. But she's licking it. Awesome. The heifers have been super weirded out every time somebody has a calf out in the corral there. So, anyway, yeah, we'll let her do her thing. So, it's the first day after our challenge. Well, the first four hours after our challenge is over. And I have something to tell you, Glenn. Oh, what's that? When I was. In High River yesterday, I bought you a Big Mac and put it in the fridge downstairs. Oh, you did not. I did. Oh, I know it for breakfast then. <laughs> Quick check in the barn. Everybody looks happy. New mama and baby are all snuggled up there on the floor. After we feed everybody out in the field, we're gonna come back in here and tag and put these guys out in the corral. So this is a bit of a surprise. Our nice bedding we had in here is covered by two and a half inches of snow now. Awesome. Cow Emporium, a river runs through it. <laughs> Take two. Yeah, I need 
needs to move right out of there. Yeah, yeah. We love the moisture, but it causes so much extra work. We got to put out all new bedding. So we want to fill up this corral before the cows come out of the barn. Otherwise, uh, there'll be just more cows and calves to work around in here. Kick ya? Oh, she's a feisty one. The heifers have been a little feisty this year already. <laughs> oh, shit. again. I don't want to spook them. It's pretty icy. This is an excellent opportunity to have a good look at everybody on the way by. Well, I know. I didn't think I looked that bad. It's our first time feeding our crowd group in a trough like this. There's getting to be enough now that we're not putting a chop just along the fence for them. So it's super important to make sure that they all get in there to eat. Otherwise, somebody gets too much. You see that calf there? It's poopy butt. That's pretty normal for a new calf. All that fresh colostrum and milk. We're leaving our little heifer and a calf in the barn as long as possible because he's just a tiny little tyke. Not a lot of meat on them bones yet. It's just absolutely miserable storming here. It's supposed to get worse over the day. Today is March 2nd, so everything is... After their chop, everything came back into the uh, corral. So I'm gonna stop our week one at this point and uh, thanks for watching everybody. See you next week.